Is Nvidia still undervalued? The stock right now trades at $721, has a market cap of $1.78 trillion and a forward PE of 36.3 times. Year to date, the stock is up 45% already. And so, remember the last time we talked about Nvidia? It was trading at a forward PE of 24.4 times, and I said 24.4 times. Seems pretty crazy for a company that is growing so fast. Most of the people would have thought that this would be trading at a much, much higher PE. But no, the business itself, this is what's most important here. The business itself has actually been growing much, much faster than the stock has gone up. And so that's why we ended 2023 with a forward PE that was still quite respectable at 24, 25 times, which by the way was also cheaper than the likes of AMD, for example. Now, as we have started 2024 on quite some good momentum with regards to AI hype and things like that, we are now at 36.3 times. If we look at the five-year mean, that sits at 41.5 times, so we are getting closer to its five-year mean, so you might start to think, hmm, going into the earnings report, which should be February 21st, of course, we're going to cover that on the channel, maybe, maybe right now, it's time to, let's say, pause the buying and wait for the next earnings report. Because if we look at metrics like price to sales in the next 12 months, that's 20.1 times higher than the five-year mean, which sits at 15.7 times. And if we look at price to free cash flow, that's of course a metric here in the last 12 months, 101.7 times compared to 78.4 times. That's a bit higher so you might say right now I'm a bit uncomfortable with adding to my position, which is completely fine. You'll have to wait another two weeks or so. You've got the earnings report. Maybe they'll surprise again on the upside with their own guidance. Maybe not, remains to be seen. But the numbers to expect for the upcoming quarters are still quite good. Nvidia expects revenue to come at $20 billion, which is up quite a lot year over year and quarter over quarter, it's up 11% or so. Gross margin, 74.5% gap and 75.5% non-gap. So again, incredible business. Now, for those that needed a small reminder of the different segments of their business, of course, we know that the majority of the big push comes from data center. I mean, if you look at the year-over-year -year comparison in Q3 of fiscal year 2024, $14.51 billion. A year before that, just $3.83 billion dollars. It's quite remarkable how fast this business has grown in just a short period of time. Gaming still rebounding, although they expect it to be a bit weak quarter over quarter. Professional visualization has seen a nice little comeback. Automotive was a bit weak. I expect that to pick up in the coming quarters. And remember, with regards to semiconductors as a percentage of premium vehicles bill of material is expected to reach 20% by 2030 and 12% by 2025. You might think this is not a lot, but in 2019, that was only 4%. And with regards to Nvidia's dominance as a whole, this is a picture from mid 2023, they estimated that NVIDIA had more than 70% of the market share for AI chips. I've even seen a report saying that that number is closer to 80%. And of course, it makes sense. The AI chip market has grown quite a lot, is still expected to grow quite a lot in 2024, 2025, 2026, with NVIDIA being the dominant player there. You can expect them to generate more profits, more revenue, for years to come. Now the question is, how much? What are analysts expecting NVIDIA to report in the coming fiscal years? You're just gonna have to wait just a tiny second. First, do me a favor by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe button if you have not. Would really appreciate that. If you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor. Thank you very much. Now, we know NVIDIA plays very, very important role in a lot of industries right now. Of course, some parts of the AI story are hyped up for no reasons. I've talked about ARM, for example, its valuation right now just doesn't make any sense. That video will be in the top right corner. 
But for a company like NVIDIA, which is already right now producing the goods and is already right now working on the next products, the products for the coming years. Remember, when you talk about developing chips or designing chips, AI chips, GPUs, doesn't matter. It takes quite a while until you reach a point where you start producing a lot of those. So yes, there might be an increased competition coming, but it's still a couple of years. But it might take a couple of years time until they manage to well, reach the levels of NVIDIA. And maybe by then NVIDIA will already be one step further. Remains to be seen, that will be discussed in part two of this video. But NVIDIA's opportunity, you've probably seen this already on the channel. This comes from the investors presentation back in 2023, which of course we have already covered quite a while ago. They see here a $1 trillion long-term available market opportunity in the segments that they are playing in right now. $100 billion in gaming, $300 billion in data center systems, NVIDIA, AI, Enterprise, and DJX Cloud, that's $150 billion, autonomous machines, remember this is autonomous machines, not just vehicles, $300 billion, and then Omniverse Enterprise, $150 billion. It's very important to note that a lot of these segments will be working together for NVIDIA, whether it's software, and hardware, a lot of these segments, a lot of these products usually work together in the same NVIDIA ecosystem. Now going back to the question, what are the analysts expecting for the next coming fiscal years? Well, for fiscal year 2024, which is the one NVIDIA is still in right now, sales growth of 118.56% year over year, EPS growth 268.68% year over year. So yes, fiscal year 2024, Quite a remarkable year for the company. Then, fiscal year 2025, sales growth of another 56.35% year over year, EPS growth 68.21%. Moving even further, fiscal year 2026, they will break the $100 billion revenue mark. They'll actually reach 111 or expected to reach $111 billion. That will increase another 20. 0.44% year over year, and EPS is expected to grow another 21.52% to $25.17. This means right now, company is trading at around 28, 29 times fiscal year 2026 EPS. And you might say, well, interesting, for a company that is still expected to grow so fast for the coming fiscal years, even paying right now 36.3 times forward PE, isn't too bad, we've seen worse in the market, right? But just because we've seen worse in the market does not make it extremely cheap. No, it does not. Right now, I think there are still some questions. Can they continue to accelerate their growth, even though <laughs> the numbers that we're seeing right now are pretty remarkable? I don't think we're seeing a lot of companies that are expected to grow as fast top and bottom line in an ever-growing industry, an ever-growing market. So, is NVIDIA undervalued or not? Is that a question we can answer right now? Maybe it's a bit too soon to answer that question. What we do know is that the semiconductor industry is a cyclical one. Sometimes you go up, sometimes you'll go down. Usually when you go down, people will say you look very expensive, but that's what happens when you go into a down market, as we've seen not so long ago, by the way. We've seen that in 2018, after the huge crypto bubble, let's say, NVIDIA crashed. Then, cycle started again, goes up pretty fast. What have we seen? Of course, with chip shortages, supply chain issues, etc., etc., went back down for not that long, actually. And then, cycle started again. And now we are in the AI cycle, which can last a couple of years could be because everybody would like to upgrade their own systems, whether it's a consumer, whether it's cloud services, companies, you name it. Everybody wants to have a device that is capable of AI capabilities, let's say. And so maybe it's a cycle that will last a bit longer than the usual ones. Could very well be. And that could help you answer the question whether or not NVIDIA is undervalued right now. Do let me know down in the comments below. Share your thoughts there. Let's have a constructive conversation because it is a very, very interesting question, especially a very interesting company in an ever-growing and 
fast moving industry. So that will be it for this video. If you enjoyed this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.